The Guyana government will take the national flag raising ceremony in observance of the country's 58th independence anniversary to Linden, Region 10 on Sunday. However, some political activists have been advocating for a boycott of this national event and have publicized several reasons why people should not attend the gathering. The reasons sought to discredit the People's Progressive Party civic government's track record in Linden. Vice President Barad Jagdio has since criticized the attempts to undermine the celebrations, contending that it is another act of racism being promoted by certain opposition players. He explained that the current PPP see, I would have thought that this is a national event and that you would want full participation. It takes the pomp and ceremony to another part of the country which is normally associated with Georgetown, Jagdio said. Previously, the flag-raising ceremonies were held in Anna Regina, Region 2 and Latham, Region 9. However, he recalled that when the event was held in Region 2, members from the opposition camp had criticized the move. Now that it's going to Region 10, they've urged people not to attend, the vice president lamented. He referred to a list in circulation of reasons why people should not attend the event in Linden debunking each of the mistruths therein. Meanwhile, as it relates to the investments, Jagdio noted that the government was spending $280 million on two stands at the Linden Synthetic Track and installing floodlights to make the sporting facility better. In addition, 1,000 house lots are being developed on a plantation next to Linden to facilitate construction of low-income houses along with another 400 in Amelia's ward. That's 14 old persons who will get a plot of land or a low-income house from the government in this period, he noted. He also alluded to significant investments in health, telecommunications, and other areas by the current administration for the people of Linden and Region 10.